Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in to today's second video doing the EC30 Day uh, Forecast UK and for the rest of Europe as well for today's uh, second video. So as well as on Tuesday, we've got the extended uh, European outlook. We uh, traditionally have this as a 30 day forecast, but we will look at weeks 5 and 6 data as well because the charts are there, so why not? We'll have a look at weeks 5 and 6 too. That takes us well into December, just running up towards the Christmas period. So I should get to that for you in a moment, just to say that the first video is say what video released today was our 6 a.m. upload. And uh, we've got a 10 to 14 day coming up for you later on today. That will include all of the regular features. Please like, share, subscribe on videos. And thank you so much, everyone, for doing that. Right, so you're going to start off with the week one mean sea level pressure anomaly taking us through this week, the 7th to the 14th of December. So this week we'll have low pressure in the Atlantic. <coughs> I just should just say I've got a little bit of cold that's come on overnight again. Uh, so uh, I've got like a little virus that keeps coming and going <laughs> over the past week or two, but it's flared up a bit again overnight. So I am a little bit coughy and sneezy. And whatnot. Um, anyway, back to this. We've got low pressure in the Atlantic. We've got high pressure sitting over and to the east of uh, Europe. So through Central and also East parts of Europe. This is drawing up a very mild, if not warm, southerly to southwesterly winds up the western side of Europe. This trough of low pressure here is trying to bring something colder into the far north and northeast, but being kept at bay by the ridge and the trough in the uh, Atlantic Ocean. 500 millibar height anomaly looks like that. So again, we've got below average heights in the Atlantic. Above average heights covering, covering many, many parts of Europe and between the two are becoming most very mild southerly southwesterly winds once again. So the temperature anomaly, anomaly looks like that and it really is very, very mild if not warm with widespread above average temperature across most parts of Europe in most deep red colours which is like 3 to 6 degrees widely. Uh, some parts of Scandinavia, 6 to 10 degrees above average, goes down into the Mediterranean as well, so like Spain, Portugal, the central part of the Med, up into France, 3, degree, 3 to 6 degrees above average there. Does it miss that this extreme eastern and southeastern part of Europe? Is it a little bit cooler from like the Black Sea and southwestern Russia down towards Greece and Turkey? We've got some cooler temperature anomalies there but basically the vast majority of Europe is very significantly and substantially uh, above average uh, this week. Uh, the precipitation anomaly looks like that so of uh, Scandinavia it's a little bit on the unsettled side as it is but Ireland and the far west of Scotland northwest of England uh, also over here towards Greece and Turkey in the far eastern part of the Mediterranean Heading in towards the Middle East, it does uh, get a little bit wetter through there. And down towards Spain and Portugal, a little bit variable with rainfall. Some areas a bit on the wet side, some areas a bit on the dry side. Other than that, most places are drier than average from France and England all the way over to the Black Sea as well. We see widespread average to dry than average conditions under that large area of high pressure that really is dominating weather across most parts of Europe. Bear in mind it is late on, so just go back to these temperature anomalies. It is late on in the year, so we will probably have fog developing under this area of high pressure through the central and eastern parts of Europe that will limit the temperature potential. So, you know, if the sun comes out, if the fog clears, then it will be very mild or warm. But the fog could have a limited, a limiting effect on the temperature. But it is widely warmer than average across most parts of Europe this week. Right, week two will be before the 21st of November. The area of high pressure begins to move a little bit further eastwards into the eastern side of Europe as low pressure in the Atlantic gets closer to Western Europe. So that's turning more unsettled in the west and in the northwest. Uh, and probably a bit cooler as well for parts of either the UK or the Falkland. I'll have a look at in both, maybe Western France. And meanwhile, those warm southerly winds are being shunted a little bit further eastwards, probably to that sort of area. The 500 millibar height anomaly looks like this. And again, we see that the high pressure is there across northern Europe. It is moving uh, a little bit further eastwards as low pressure deepens in the Atlantic and the jet stream of those areas. Low pressure start to push that high pressure, the ridge, uh, further, further eastwards. 
notice his strong low pressure through Western Russia and down into the far southeast of Europe, that's bringing probably colder air down uh, through there. So the week two temperature anomaly looks like that. It's still widely above average for much of northern Western uh, Europe. Not quite as warm, perhaps, for the UK and Ireland as it is in uh, week one. Nevertheless, still significantly above average. And across Scandinavia, we see widespread temperature anomalies again around 3 to 6 degrees above normal, as we do for parts of France and southern Germany. Notice this be cooler than average area here in the east and the southeast of Europe, though, is extending out. So anywhere from, like, the Balkans to the Black Sea, uh, northwards in towards the southwest of Russia, and then down in towards the eastern part of the Mediterranean, particularly Greece, Turkey, and then over in towards the Middle East. Again, we see the temperature anomaly there is uh, cooler than normal, cold air pushing down from uh, Russia and whatnot. The precipitation anomaly looks like this. So it's wetter than average across the far west of Europe. Ireland, UK, France, Spain, Portugal uh, looking a little bit wetter than normal. And this extreme eastern, southeastern part of Europe as well. Uh, more towards the Middle East could be wetter average and to the east of Black Sea. There we have the areas. High pressure is dominating the weather, so most areas from like uh, northwestern Russia looking drier than normal to Scandinavia, and especially so in this eastern part of the Med, actually, like Italy, uh, over the Adriatic to the Balkans, and then down into Greece, uh, looking significantly drier than normal through those areas under that area of high pressure. Week 3 will be the 23rd, 28th of November. Uh, so you have high pressure generally covering most parts of Europe in uh, this week. If it means there will pressure anomaly is right. So quite a bit of high pressure domination going on. The 500 millibar height anomaly in week three looks like that. Uh, again, quite a bit of high pressure in control of the weather. Really, very similar pressure towards the far west of uh, Russia again. The temperature anomaly, still generally above normal in most areas from the UK and Ireland in the west, right way towards like um, uh, northwestern Russia, the east, Scandinavia, coming out more northern France, low countries, Germany, the Baltic Sea states, Latvia, Estonia, Lithuania, uh, mild of an all three there. Uh, Greece, a little bit on the cooler side. Turkey, a little bit on the cooler side. A bit up towards the Black Sea in southwestern uh, Russia, a little bit cooler, average there. And further east, it also gets a bit uh, below average as well. Many central, northern and western parts of Europe are looking milder than normal. And the precipitation anomaly is a bit of a weakening signal, but still hinting at most areas, particularly over on the continent anyway, drier than average. Notice it is quite wet out in the Atlantic, where there's plenty of low pressure in the Atlantic, but trying to uh, come into the west of Europe. But the high pressure is still fending that off largely in many areas. But Mediterranean may be turning a little bit more showery down towards North Africa and possibly around the coast of uh, eastern Spain. Right, week four going to be 28th of November to 5th of December. High pressure is well and truly in control in this week. A centre like uh, from the UK towards Denmark and Germany. Probably low pressure up here with the jet stream. Um, this might start to cool things down across the west of Europe. This area of high pressure might start to deliver some frost and fog. The 500 millibar height anomaly. Looks like that. Plenty of high pressure dominating across northern, central and western Europe once again. The uh, temperature anomaly isn't as warm in week four. Still very marked Scandinavia and into the north of Scotland. A bit below average towards the Black Sea. Um, and into the Mediterranean, it's a little bit more than average through there. But otherwise, most of those seem to be cooling down either to no signal Maybe going a little bit cooler in that uh, final few days of November and into the beginning of December. Again, there could be frost and fog going to that area of high pressure that's reforming across Western Europe. Precipitation wise, looks a little bit unsettled through the Med, above average rainfall down there, maybe some uh, autumnal thunderstorms, a little bit wetter than average in northern parts of Norway. Again, otherwise, sort of no signal or drier than average, really, with quite a bit of high pressure domination ongoing. Right, well, that's the 30-day forecast done, but let's have a look at weeks 5 and 6 data before we go. So, this is for week 5, uh, mean CO pressure anomaly from the 5th to the 12th of December. Um, hinting at a little bit of high pressure continuing across uh, parts of Europe, especially over here in the east and the southeast, where it is a weakening signal or a weakening feature 
500 millibar height anomaly placing high pressure across the uh, west of Europe. The temperature anomaly going mild of an average again in uh, much of northern and uh, western Europe. Also southern Europe looks a bit on the mild side, maybe hints of being a bit cooler over in the east and in the south of Europe. Um, a precipitation anomaly largely on the dry of an average side again. Uh, particularly through western parts of Europe. And then uh, would be week 6, mean um, general pressure anomaly will be the 12th to 19th of December. And high pressure looks like it's trying to form around Scandinavia then, so perhaps that could start bringing in more of an easterly flow to uh, northern parts of Europe. The um, 500 millibar height anomaly, just showing quite a large ridgery from the North Atlantic in towards northern and uh, western parts of Europe. Again, the cold is there, probably going into this east southeastern part of Europe with a trough of low pressure through there. Uh, the temperature anomaly looks like that, so very mild across the far north of Scandinavia, generally above average in the extreme west northwest. Otherwise, no signal, perhaps turning a bit colder in the east. And the precipitation anomaly, again, it seems to be being a little bit on the driving average side for those northern and western parts of Europe. Uh, right then, so uh, that's how it's looking. Bit of a mixed bag, but East Seven Day has said it has backed off from that northern blocking signal that we were seeing last week uh, for the rest of November anyway. So the rest of November shape got to be very mild for much of northern and western Europe into December, possibly signs, but it begins to turn a bit colder under high pressure. But there's no signal for anything, you know, really cold uh, up towards uh, up towards Christmas. But we cannot say about Christmas itself. That will be in the time frame of the next update with the East Seb Dovex Sebo that we'll be doing on Saturday morning. So Christmas week will be coming into that time frame as week six. So uh, that's going to be interesting. Uh, right, well, that's it. So, European Outlook for this week. We'll do it all over again next Tuesday. If you enjoyed the video, please like, share, and subscribe. And we're going to be back later on with the 10 to 14 day. That one will include all of the regular features. So, I shall see, see you a little bit later on for that. But for this one, that's all for now. And thanks for watching.